Hello, I am Scorp, and I am going to test some SD cards in the Steam Deck. So here I have a Kingston Canvas Select Plus 64 gig. I had this lying around. It was in a Raspberry Pi, a SanDisk Extreme, um, A2 64 gig also, which was in my GoPro, and a Samsung 128 gigabytes and a SanDisk Ultra 200 gigabytes. I bought the 200 gigabytes especially for the Steam Deck, so just to put lots of things on. Here I'm actually running Ubuntu uh, using the Disk Utilities built-in benchmark. I didn't want to keep adding more things onto my Steam OS, so I thought I'd just live CD into this. This is why you're seeing this. As you can see, I also tested an external SSD, which is actually Western Digital um, SN550. This had a read speed of 408 megabytes per second and a write speed of 397 megabytes per second. Do note that this was bottlenecked by the USB-C adapter and probably the caddy. Uh, the internal eMMMC had a read speed of 271 megabytes per second and a write speed of 202 megabytes per second. Coming in third was the SanDisk Extreme A2 with a read speed of 82 megabytes per second and a write speed of 43 megabytes per second. Then the SanDisk Ultra A1, 83 megabytes per second and 26 megabytes per second write. The extremely cheap Kingston A1 had a read speed of 90 megabytes per second, which was actually the fastest of the four cards for reading and a write speed of 21 megabytes per second. And as you can see, the Samsung Evo Plus is taking its sweet old time. It's got a read speed of 79 megabytes per second, but an absolutely abysmal 11 megabytes per second write speed. And there it is, still chugging along, trying to finish. I've had this Samsung card for a year or two, but it's had an easy life. It's not been in many things. The Kingston's definitely had a lot more usage, so I'm not sure if the Samsung drive is just this bad because it's this bad, or if it's broken, or if it's corrupt, or I'm just unlucky with it, but it is extremely slow, extremely slow. We'll get there. Here we are, finally. So next up, I'm going to do a real-world test. I'm going to download Crash Bandicoot Trilogy over Wi-Fi onto my Steam Deck, uh, onto the SD cards, obviously, specifically. So first up, here's my internet speed. It's approximately 260 megabits per second. And remember, that means 32 megabytes per second, because eight bits equals one byte, of course. <laughs> so do note that times in the corner are in minutes and seconds, and the video has been speeded up, so we don't have to waste so much time sitting here. As you can see, to start with, all four cards tested here are taking full advantage of my bandwidth and uh, getting the full 32 megabytes per second. I almost said that wrong again. <laughs> Do also note that when Steam is downloading, your the place where it's writing to will bottleneck the download. So here where it says the download is coming down at like 10 megabytes per second, that is because it can't write to the disk and it's not anything to do with your internet. So the external SSD finished in 10 minutes and eight seconds. So downloading 17 gigabytes from Steam over the internet and writing 29.1 gigabytes onto the drive because all the files are compressed and things. It was essentially like the ideal scenario. Uh, the only thing bottlenecking this would have been my internet. And so the drive was just flat out all the time or taking it easy in this case with the external SSD. SanDisk Extreme A2 wasn't that far behind. There was a little bit of bottlenecking from the SD card, but in comparison to the others, not so much. 13 minutes and 52 seconds. So basically 10 minutes behind the external SSD was the SanDisk Ultra A1. And finally, after 28 minutes and 20 seconds, the Kingston A1 finishes. You may be wondering what happened to the Samsung Evo. Well, here it is, just starting and stopping constantly, one megabits per second, zero. It just very rarely did anything. So eventually I just stopped it. It was a waste of time, absolute waste of time. I did leave this running twice previously because I ran most of these tests two or three times before recording them. And the Samsung 
one of the times took about three hours and the other time I don't know because I went to bed it was taking that long I left it on overnight and it was just abysmal the sustained write speed of this Samsung is terrible it's not even worth using in, in anything do not use this in a Steam Deck do not use it anywhere basically throw it in the bin just <laughs> e-waste it it is literally e-waste you'll also notice I didn't test the internal eMMC drive and that is because despite the fact that I started a fresh install of Steam OS. The only thing I downloaded was Crash Bandicoot Trilogy, like, well, 10 to 20 times on different cards and things. And that left a lot of residual information, 16.22 gigabytes worth, exactly. I didn't install anything else other than Crash Bandicoot, and because of that, there wasn't any space left to actually install Crash Bandicoot on the internal drive. And I couldn't be bothered to reset the Steam OS again for the third time. So you finally got the game downloaded. That means you can finally enjoy playing some games. Well, nope. So before you can start enjoying your games, you need to verify your games just after download. This is basically an integrity check. So it's essentially a read benchmark. That's all it's doing. It's just reading. As you can see, the external SSD finished in 1 minute and 22 seconds because it could just blister through it with its very high read speeds. The rest of the cards are pretty evenly matched, all around the 100 megabytes per second. For comparison, this read speed is probably about the same as the hard drive that's in a PS4 or an Xbox One. This extreme comes in at 6 minutes and 7 seconds, which is about 1 minute faster than the other two cards tested. So oh, finally we can actually start playing some games and one final benchmark of loading in the first level of Crash Bandicoot. Here the time is in seconds so this is real time. The SSD finishes in 9 seconds to load the third, first level and the SD card takes 11 seconds so not a lot in it and I wouldn't say it's anything to really care about. So there we have it that was me testing some SD cards on the deck and yeah so basically one to avoid, at least in my case, was the Samsung Evo Plus. The write speed just isn't good enough. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just this one card or if they're all like this. Um, so, yeah, the differences are the SanDisk Ultra, um, the 400 gigabyte version. We'll talk about the 400, so they're all the same. Uh, you can pick up a 400 gigabyte version for 44 euros for the Ultra. For the Extreme, which was probably the best card I tested, it's uh, 75 euro. So there's quite a big difference in it. And oh, also there's the card, the model higher of this, which is the Samsung Extreme Pro, uh, which is 80 euros. So it's not much difference. And uh, this has a much higher write speed. So uh, what I probably would suggest is um, buy either the Extreme or the Extreme Pro and put all your like AAA games on there. Things that you know that are going to update quite often uh, because you will need that write speed. You don't want to be waiting around all the time for the the SD card to write because they are slow and painful. So you want the best write speed possible for your AAA games. On the other hand, um, I pick up one of these, the 200 gigabyte versions. This cost me, I think it was on special, 18 euros, 200 gigabytes. Brilliant. The 400 gigabytes version is currently 44 euros. Again, that's a, a bargain really. And I would say use that card to stick all your indie things on and all the games that you have that you know don't update anymore. So... I don't know, maybe you want to play Call of Duty Black Ops 3, yeah? It's uh, not doesn't get updates anymore. So just stick anything that doesn't get updated much on these cards. It will take a little longer to, to get them on there. But once they're on there, the read speeds are all basically exactly the same. They're all but bottlenecked by the deck itself and not the card. It's the write speeds that are getting bottlenecked by the card. So yeah, anything... I'm probably going to babble on a bit now because I've <laughs> to spend ages doing all these tests. So yeah, get the cheap cards for to get your cheap cards for sticking all your indie stuff on and stuff that doesn't update. Get an expensive card to stick all your AAA stuff on. Perfect. Right, that was a lot of work. So maybe watch some other videos. I might actually plug some videos for a change. So if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed listening to me ramble on for what seemed like an eternity then, you know, why not check out this podcast up here or check out some other video down here, maybe. All right, I hope that helped because it took a while. <laughs>